In the following dramatization, note what helps a father to put primary emphasis on his family's spiritual needs while also providing for their material needs. Hey. Hey, babe. We need to talk. Okay. My boss called me in right at the end of the day. Said that I need to start traveling for two weeks out of the month. What did you tell him? I told him I would think about it. I only have till the end of the week to decide. I can't lose this job. They really put you in a tough spot. It feels impossible. What does Jehovah want you to do? He wants me to provide for my family, but... What does that really mean? What does it mean? It's not just money. What would happen if I spend all this time away? What kind of husband and father do I want to be? Joseph worked hard without sacrificing time with his family. Invested in them spiritually. I need to provide for my family in every way. I can't do that if I'm not here. We sat down as a family and discussed ways that we could simplify, knowing that I might lose my job. We weren't sure how Jehovah was going to take care of us, but we were ready to trust him. Yes, trusting Jehovah, that's what it's all about in these situations. So we've just been watching a dramatization that gets shown during the Imitate Those Who Had Faith in the Good News Symposium. This particular symposium item has the sub-theme Joseph and the talk is delivered by Andrew Crook from Wallkill and I guess my issue with this <laughs> is that it's just repeating the same message that gets repeated in convention after convention after convention which is that secular employment should not come in the way of your worship as a Jehovah's Witness. I mean, how many dramatizations do we need <laughs> at this point? I mean, I'm not going to go through like a clips montage, but trust me, <laughs> there have been many dramatizations in preceding years dealing with the exact same subject. Apparently, in this particular instance, if the guy were to do more time at his job, his family would implode in terms of their spirituality. His son would start zoning out at meetings. I think that's going to happen anyway, to be honest. <laughs> it would be a catastrophe with family worship and all those other things. So he needs to basically put his job on the line and find ways to simplify this is an organization that always demands sacrifice in some form 
and in this particular scenario it's being made very very clear that financial stability and job security comes second worship as a Jehovah's Witness comes first.